Fadi are back on behind the gloves with another interview. I'm with a campeón de mundo, as they say in Mexico. <laughs> Do you think my Mexican's good there? <laughs> You've been practicing. I've been practicing. <laughs> um, big, big fight, man. Julio Cesar Martinez Aguilar, I think that's the full name yes. of the guy. It's a tough fight, um, and he did beat Andrew Selby in his last outing. Um, where do you rank him within your opponents that you've already had? Oh, I, don't, I don't ever like to rank opponents. I, I take each fight as it comes, and I give my utmost respect to every fighter. I prepare to, to my best ability for every fight. I do what my coach says. I get the uh, game plan ingrained into me. And then we just put in 120% into every session, and that's what I've done again. Um, I'm really looking forward to the fight. Yeah, he's going to come with a lot of challenges. Yeah, he can punch, he can bang. His record obviously says that. He knocked out Andrew Selby. Um, but he has got a lot of flaws that we can explode, expose, and we will expose. And um, I'm looking forward to transcending the game plan we've been working on, the how way we've been sparring, and putting that onto fight night. And on fight night, you'll see a very good performance from me. In the last uh, two, so when you won the world title, it was um, a very disciplined performance. The next one was also disciplined, but there was a bit of showboating here and there. Is there anything else that you want to sort of prove, show in this performance? Is there anything in your mind that sticks out more than anything? Um, I've get, I'm getting a lot stronger. I am getting a hell of a lot stronger, and I'm punching harder. And the things I'm doing in the ring are completely different to what I've been doing previously. Yeah, yeah. Especially in the spars, the spar, spar is a featherweight, and I've, I have been pushing back a little bit. And it just goes to show my strength and dominance in there. So yeah. I'm looking forward to um, outbullying the bully. And all fair play to you, you and Sonny. You know, both of you have brought attention to the flyweight division. It's a hard division to get attention in, but you guys have done a great job doing that. Are you frustrated that you couldn't get the Selby fight, obviously him losing? Because that would have been an all British fight. It would have been a great um, sort of attraction for the fans. Is that a frustration that's in your mind? Um, it is what it is. Um, I, I, to be honest, that's the first time that I've even processed through my head. Yeah. It is what it is. Um, like I said, I take each fighter as it comes. And um, whatever's put in front of me is put in front of me for a reason. And it's, um, it's to build my legacy. And um, it's my time. It's my era. And um, slowly, slowly, I'm going to build a legacy throughout my career. Mm. And these are the next steps on my journey which you can put in front of me. Your last fight, where well, you headlined your last fight, and now you're on another big undercard. Um, is there a difference of pressure when you're headlining and when you're on a big undercard? I mean, you're still going to get a lot of eyes on, on the night. It's yeah. a huge fight night. Um, is there a different pressure between headlining and being on a big mm, undercard? No, no, not really. Every fight's pressure in itself. Um, it, it is what it is. I don't really think about the pressure, to be fair. I just turn up and do my thing. Yeah. I, it's second nature to me. From my debut fight, I've fought at the O2. I've been on TV my whole my whole pro career. I've boxed at massive arenas around the world as an amateur. Mm. So for me, it's just a, 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 another turn up, do the business. A ring's a ring. Yep. No matter where you are, you, you get in there, you focus. And um, but I know what you're saying. This is a very big profiling fight, just because the world the world of boxing yep. media fans are going to be tuned in because of Lemachenko. But it just makes me thrive and buzz that little bit more that it's time to showcase myself to the world against my number one manager challenger. So it, it, this is where the performance will come from. Moving on, you just said Lomachenko, and we can't not talk about that fight. I um, I, I'm having this conversation with everyone. You've got to put respect on Luke Campbell's yeah. name. He's an Olympic gold medalist. You know, he's been there, done it in the pro ranks. He's faced big names like Linares, yeah. um, and he's proven that he can come back as well. How do you see that fight playing out with all due respect to the Brit? Um, I believe people have wrote Luke off massively. I believe early stages it will be awkward for Lemma because Luke's a very articulate fighter. Mm. He's been around the world, he's got the experience, he's seen all different types of fighters. He's seen people like Lemachenko before. Mm. And um, he will make it very awkward early on. Lemachenko is not going to be able to just walk through him or like bemuse him with his footwork because Luke has got good footwork himself exactly, and he's yeah. seen all that quick footwork yeah. before and got experience against it so it won't be all one sided I don't think early on but then later on when Lomachenko starts getting his range his rhythm I do believe he'll go on to win by like a unanimous decision but you can't ever write Luke off and you've got to give him full applause that for even one in the fight I know it's for the world title but like 
he jumped in there, he's not scared, and he's not scared because it's a reason, because he's seen this this guy on circuit for years, he's been around him, he knows what he's about, and he knows what, what, what problems he's going to be faced with. Fair play. And just before that fight, just before the Loma Campbell fight this weekend, we've got Anthony Yard going over to Russia uh, with a huge task in hand facing Sergei Kovalev. I'd, I have this weird, weird feeling that he's going to pull it off. He's, have, he's, well, he's only had... It's getting the more I'm, I'm thinking yeah. about it, I'm feeling this special vibrational energy within myself, that thing, and I messaged him this morning wishing him all the best. And I said nothing but positivity is his way. Like, yeah. I really hope he does it. Some things are written, and I'm a big believer in some things are written in the stars. And beast from the East, he could come back for that title, and he yeah. will really be the beast from the East. Yeah. And he's done it the hard way, so I wish him all the best and hope he does it. I see you talking about affirmations a lot and, you know, believing, and people just think it's hard believing in yourself. There's a lot of deep stuff that goes into how to sort of uh, insert well, it into your mind. say this, yeah. When people react to certain circumstances in life, they react subconsciously. From, all, from a baby, the mind's programmed to yeah. from things that happen around you, things that make you sad, things that this isn't your choice. Because you're young and you're developing, your, your parents have major things on your mind where it conditions you in a way. You grow through school, things happen, it conditions your mind. So now when you're an adult and things come to you and, and right, you feel threatened, you'll act in a certain way and that's without even realising how you're acting you'll just do it because your subconscious mind takes over if you can program your conscious mind time and time again that conditions your mind to then program your subconscious mind so then your subconscious mind when the going gets tough will take over and use what you've programmed it with mm. so that's what affirmations are about when you was at school and everyone was naughty teachers sent them and detention and made you write lines why do you think that was? that was to program your mind not to do it again so you didn't do it again mm. and it's the same thing so that's what I'm saying. You've you've obviously had that experience. Yeah, it's a power. It's and and Anthony Yard has that in his own way, where he's always speaking it into yeah, existence. You, you know. To. So yeah. I think that, that it's weird. I I don't know how that would come into play, but it does, it and does. That he might just pull it, it off. Does. Um, and lastly, I just want to talk about another fighter that you know very well, uh, who doesn't, Anthony Joshua, um, going over to Saudi Arabia. First of all, what was your instant reaction to the fight taking place over there? If it is taking there? place there, I listened to a podcast the other day about Ruiz talking, saying that it's not happening over there. So you don't know, until it's signed, sealed, delivered and out there, you don't know where it's going to be. Mm. So if it is out there, great, yeah. because it brings that Saudi money. Yeah. That just makes boxing even bigger. And yeah. It makes even more competition, so then the fighter's going get, to get paid even more, mm. which is all good for us. So yeah. um, if it is out there, great. That's a great point as a fighter's point for you, but you know, like a lot of the fans were complaining that it's not in um, the UK or yeah. America, and, like and you're very close with the fans as well. As well. So do, do you? you know, I, just... I can understand the fans' perspective. On yeah, it. I really can, and um, it is sad because the fans want to come and watch and support. Exactly. Yeah. The reality is to go to Saudi to go buy a ticket. It's going to be stupid mega money, 100%. and they ain't going to be able to. So yeah. that does take away from the fans, which you've got to. It's got to be like a kind of balance. Mm. Like obviously the fighters, we put our lives into it. It's like, I'm, I'm 26, 15 years of my life I've dedicated to this, this game. And as a flyweight, I don't get the money that heavyweight's getting. I don't get money a world weight's getting. So for me, I just answered that in a subconscious way. Yeah. Because I want, want to make money, most yeah. of my career what I've worked so hard 100%. for. But I can see the other side where the British fans are. Fair play. Uh, I don't want to keep you any longer, but just tell us what we're going to see on the fight. Punch, but I, I am a world champion. Everyone knows this. I am going to retain my WBC title in style on the 31st of August against Martinez. I a punch perfect performance. Charlie Edwards, thank you very much. Hey, Fight fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do so by clicking this icon right here and hit the bell button so you can get notified every time we upload a new video. And we also have a free app available on iTunes and Google Play. So make sure you go ahead and download that. Bye, Fight fans.